Greatness through service. I have always battled with the term greatness. Despite my zealous quest to define the word, I still cannot put an exact meaning to it. Instead, I can say that greatness is relative. It is dependent on the person you ask. To me, greatness is something above average, out of the ordinary, and generally unexpected of most people. Some would say greatness translates to wealth, or perhaps a good job, a victory in battle, or fame of any sort, though in general most would agree that few gain admittance into the club of great people. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would disagree with this statement, saying that everyone can be great because everyone can serve. Dr. King was a leader of the modern American civil rights movement, leading nonviolent acts of protest through grassroots organization and civil disobedience. His speeches and writings are among the most quoted works in American history, and his revolutionary actions paved the way for radical, seemingly impossible change in this country. In his renowned speech, I Have a Dream, King describes his dreams. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I feel this quote perfectly captures the world King strove to achieve. Above all else, he dreamt of equality, and that very directly translates to King's interpretation of greatness. King believed that greatness is not something only achieved by one group of people, nor, it is nor is it stumbled upon like fame often is. Greatness in his eyes was earned but never unattainable. King served unceasingly in his fight for justice, and few would doubt that he achieved true greatness. I have always wanted to be great. I think that everyone has some drive to achieve, to be considered great. Seldom have I acknowledged that greatness is not something that other, others get to decide. I believe that greatness is something you feel in yourself, and one can conjure this feeling through service. As Dr. King said, service translates to greatness. I believe that humans are inherently selfish, and thus humanity will always be corrupt. Biologically, a human's instincts are to meet its basic needs and take care of itself. Service usually requires personal sacrifice, anything from sacrificing time to giving money or sacrificing personal comfort. Service is not free. Because of the sacrifice service requires, it, of, it often goes against the instinctual way of society, thus making a person stand out and do something out of the ordinary. Service is usually an afterthought, only considered once one meets all other needs. For example, on an airplane, during the safety protocol instructions, passengers are told that in the event of an emergency, they should put on their own oxygen mask before helping anyone else. Our society also functions this way most of the time, each person concerned with their own needs before, if ever, considering those around them. Dr. King's dream, however, requires people to rethink the way they live, act, and treat others. Equality is, achievable, equality is unachievable without service. Service requires sacrifice. Therefore, equality requires people to look past their needs, to see those who are suffering, then to put aside their selfish, selfish desires in favor of someone else's. I believe that this is precisely why service is so important to a functioning society. If the normal way of doing things is self-serving and everyone continues to live in this typical way, then nothing ever changes. The underprivileged stay underprivileged, the hungry stay hungry, the poor stay poor, and so on. However, if someone steps away from the status quo to serve others, change is inevitable. To resolve any of the injustice that runs so rampant in our society, we need service. Acts of service should be specific to one's environment, taking into account the resources and needs of the people one seeks to serve. I see that food insecurity is a large issue in my community and even in my school, so one way that I can serve my community is volunteering at a food pantry or helping pack boxes of food for local families. This is only one of many ways that people can serve their communities. Additionally, acts of service can be large scale. Dr. King served the world with his fervent campaign for racial justice and equality. I believe that Dr. King's ultimate goal throughout his life and his work was to help people. On Martin Luther King Day, we honor his memory through service and work towards carrying out his dream for an equal world. Service can take countless dis different forms, but no matter the type of service one participates in, the act of serving someone else, of putting aside one's own needs in favor of someone else's, is truly great. Thank you.